Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and today we're going to check out this design. This is gorgeous. I love how it's stitched out. Please ignore these parts. I made a boo-boo and I bumped the hoop and I had to reset everything and I didn't quite get it on properly so just ignore I'll blur it or something like that so this design is going to be free in the OML embroidery Facebook group and we're going to make this free if we get 600 likes on this video now I wanted to show you guys first of all how cute this design is it's adorable but I want to show you guys how I put it together because it has amazing connections and here it is on uh, I'm in e4 but it doesn't matter what software you're using and when I put this together I didn't have a doodle I didn't have anything I just started off with a blank screen and it was kind of difficult to do but the way I approached this design is I started doing the elements and kind of you know work from the outside in um, I knew I wanted an egg and I knew I wanted the egg to be uh, applique and I thought it would be really nice to have different fabrics in there so I didn't plot this one out because there was nothing to plot out so I did all the parts of it and then I made the connections and it was a little bit fiddly to do afterwards but it worked out I had to get really clever with some of the connections so each color is pretty much just one shot now if you look here let's go back to the actual picture you can hardly there's a connection there you can hardly see it all of the connections run underneath the egg even for these circles but look you can't see it it's one stitch that brings it in and I wanted to point that out that connections can be hidden one of the connections goes from here down and you can't see that one either otherwise we would have had a jump stitch to you know over here sort of thing so it, it makes a difference how you hide them but it's pretty easy to do you don't have to be that picky about it 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 works you can see some of the connections but let's do the stitch simulator and we'll talk about them as they come up so this one was the first connection that I made and if you look here let me pause if you look here I wanted the connection to go underneath the egg to start in the middle I could have done it from the side but there's more space so what I did is I did a connection did a few of them did a connection here and then started back so the last circle will be here and it's the shortest spot onto underneath the egg so that is one way of hiding it and it was just a matter it's just a running stitch you can do this in any software it's just a running stitch to make the connection so make sure your connections are in the right color and in the right spot so that's how I did that one and you can see right here it's just one few stitches down you couldn't see it and look here all this is going to be underneath so right there we saved a ton one two three four five jump stitches I'm gonna slow this down so for the blue ones it kind of went fast this is the connection right here this is the connection it starts here because we're starting with a new color it goes here and here and that's the way this one goes you can't change the uh, start and stop points this is how this one does it's a motif stitch so I needed to get stitching back here to make the connection for the candle wick stitches for under here so I just did a line now honestly you really can't see it let's look at that one it was a little bit crooked but it oh no those ones don't show uh, it's right there but I, I moved it I was a little off there but if you look at the other ones they're all done the same can you see where I made the connection no so that's a perfect way of hiding it I think it's, it works really well and that eliminated another jump stitch and we're into that color so let's keep it going I slowed it down a bit but we're gonna skip all the candle wicking not quite that much and go to our next connection there we go 
and that forms the shape of the egg. Now, if you notice here, it's not quite perfect and it doesn't have to be. You don't have to spend a ton of time doing the connections. All they have to be is just underneath the wide satin finishing stitches. So then you can hide it, but you don't have to spend a lot of time making perfect curves. You can see that these ones are off. The only thing you need to do is just double check at the end and make sure everything is covered. So, so far we have the first color and then we have the second color, which has a few elements. We have that all in one shot. Now, here we go again. Now, this is the connection stitch here. This is where the start point is. So we carried it down and then all the way up so it would start and you can't see this line. And this one finishes and another line finishes here and another line down and then continuing on. So it's a really good way to, you know, do your designs. You will be surprised how wonderfully this design stitches out with no jump stitches. I can't guess as to how many jump stitches there are. Uh, there would have been, I guess is what I'm saying, but it looks amazing. And I'm really happy how this turned out from just piecing it together. This took me, you know, probably four hours or so to do five and then make the connections. So it, it was, you know, a lot of just playing around with stuff, which is something I really enjoy doing. And it's amazing what you can create if you just, you know, let everything go and step outside the box and just start with a blank screen and just something that you like. I started off with the hearts and then I did the candle wicking and I thought it was really cute. Now for this color, I had to get really clever with the connections because they were kind of hard to do some of them because I have designs going here and back and then to the next one, but I made it work. So I wanted an extra line here. So you see where that one went? And then it goes to the top side for these beautiful stitches. And then it goes back with a back stitch to make it a little thicker. And then I just shadowed the bottom of the heart to make it look good. And I shadowed on this side, the shape of the heart. When this one gets filled in, you won't be able to see it very well. So then we are going on to our, you know, pretty element designs, I guess you can call it. That stitch out wonderfully. So this is all connected now. And I had to go a little bit back and forth, but it's worth it and directly into the next one and then walked all the way into the middle so I could do the hearts in the middle. Let's speed this up a bit. And if you look here, we're about to get to this one that blends right in. Oh, it's a little off, but that's okay. You still can't see it. I would tweak that and move it just out a little bit so we don't have an overlap. But you know what? Realistically, you're really not going to see two stitches, right? It was back here. You're really not going to see the stitches. I don't really see them. It's there, but it's not something you would say, oh my goodness, you made a little mistake. So you can, you know, just relax a little bit about it. You can tweak it if you want to, but you don't have to worry. So, okay, let's look at the next connection. So I went back and then I went in between the hearts to make this connection. And I carried it all the way over to here so we could keep the same rhythm. Now, if anyone's asking, I did not copy from one to the other. Um, from this side to that side, it was far too complicated and I had to make everything opposite. So it was a little, a little too difficult to do, but I don't have, there's less space here, so I don't have all these lines. So I did just do everything again and make connections. So this one goes right through the middle. That's a perfect spot to make an, a connection and back here 
and now we're on to the next one. Isn't that brilliant? And these are all really well hidden and really nicely done. So here we go. So this is advanced connections, I would call it. It took me a while to do it, and again, I had to be a little bit clever on how to hide everything. But if you notice, we've got a few layers here of a few colors that are underneath the applique, and it's fine. They covered up beautifully. So this side is the same as that side, and we're doing it just a little differently. This one fit in a little bit better and going up there. This is a, a back stitch, so it's a little bit thicker. We can speed up here. And there's one more set of connections I wanted to show you guys. So that was the next color, all completely connected, no stops, no jump stitches. And now we are going to work on the egg. So placement line for the egg and cut it and now it's doing the zigzag and it's in a different color just to hold everything down. And then after the zigzag, we're going to do the connections. So I wanted to do, you know, an emblem symbol in the middle. So I connected it logically here. This is usually just, it's a single motif by itself, but I didn't want it to just stitch and have to two trims or jump stitches. So I made it connect to how it looks logical and it goes with the design just perfectly. So off to our next one. So it started here, ended here, and it ran down and started here and ended here. And you can see the pattern of how it's going and everything again is hidden underneath the uh, applique and it's perfect. So all these colors, the yellow is completely connected with running stitches. So you can do this in any software. You don't have to have E4 or anything fancy. If you have motifs and if you have running stitches, you can make your own connection. So this is the next color and you can see it's the same thing. Start here, stop here, running stitch, start here, stop here. And you have to go through it and make sure everything starts and stops properly. But another color filled right in. All right, so this is the underlay, I think. Yes, it's the underlay for the satin stitch. And then there's our satin stitch. And then I just put a little um, motif stitch over top because I like that look. And it's awesome. Isn't that fantastic? So this design, when you watch it stitch out on your machines, you will be able to learn a whole lot about connections and how you can hide them. It's a fantastic example. I spent a lot of time on it and I really like it. So 600 likes, you guys can have this design and watch it stitch out and learn a lot about connections. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys like this video. I know you guys will love this design. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.